Hey YouTube, I thought I'd go over my tank setup since it's kind of unique and maybe interesting for some of you. So, uh, you know, on the top, well, the very top is the filtration system and then the main tank with the fish in it. And down below, I've got another tank to propagate plants, uh, kind of inoculate filter media. I've got a piece of driftwood soaking in there at the moment. Um, and what's nice is, if I ever want to do water changes for the top tank with the fish in it, I can just change the water down below and not disturb the tank, not have to change the level in the top tank. Everything will just stay as it is and the water will slowly, the fresh water will slowly trickle in because they're all on one system. So the water's circulating through all of them. Um, yeah, so let's, let's take a closer look. So this is the only pump in the system. Um, so that's submerged down the bottom tank. And then it travels up around the back. And let's see there, I've got a little tap on it so I can adjust the flow rate. And it comes into the top of the filtration here. So it goes in there, comes down under the glass, through a physical filtration system, down over, th over here to these ceramic kind of cylinders where bacteria can grow. And then finally falls in here with some other stones and plastic balls and things for more bacteria to grow and filter the water. And then it drops down into the main tank over here. So you can see, creates a nice little stream of bubbles in there. And the bubbles get really fine over the going into the wall. So I don't have an aerator in the system because I figure that this is enough uh, disturbance on the surface of the water and enough bubbles getting in through there. Take a little look at the fish. And then it comes over here, and I've got this filter. So it's coming in over here at the top, and then it's leaving the tank down here near the bottom. And I've got a filter because I've got tiny little fish and shrimp and things I don't want to get sucked up. And then it comes up here, and this bridge is full of water. So there's no air in there, and there's a little valve on top that I can use to... Um, to make it full of air, uh, make it full of water, sorry. If I ever take out the filter and put it back in again, I can just suck through that hose and it will take all the air out and fill it up with water. And that comes down into this little side tank thing. Okay, so it comes in through the blue one. It's not touching the bottom of the tank, so water can enter. And basically, the water will try and equalize. As you can see, they're basically level. Maybe the main tank is a tiny bit higher, um, but they're basically level. And then the water leaves through this white pipe, which is above the level of the bottom of the blue pipe, which is important, I'll explain that in a minute. And then goes down through this tube and bubbles back down into the bottom tank, right? And you can see that creates like air disturbance and bubbles and things as well. So how this works is that so it takes water from the bottom and since it's flooded, it wants to create the same level in this little overflow tank. So water's constantly coming in and it's constantly leaving through that white pipe. So it's not actually a siphon. This top one is a water bridge, right? Which I guess is kind of acting like a siphon because the bottom of... No, it's not. It's not. Because this is a filter here and that's way higher than the intake, right? So we've got the, the intakes over here down low and the top is over here up high. So it's not a siphon. 
In fact, water wants to run back into the tank. But since it's all sealed with water, I'm able to maintain that level. Right? It wants to equalize level with the tank. And it can only ever drain to the top of that white pipe because that's the drain out. So in the event of a power cut, which I'll do now, I'll unplug the pump. Okay, pump is off. So whatever water was in here is going to slowly go down. See that level dropping. Dropping. Basically the tube sucking it back up and dropping it in the bottom tank. There we go. So it won't fall any lower than that. And then these are full. And this is going to come to a standstill too. Dripping out of there. That's staying part way full because the intake on that, or the outlet rather, is not at the bottom. You can see it's a couple inches above the bottom, so that will stay full of water as well. But it stopped flowing, right? Just a couple drips. Now look what's happened over here. Right? So the blue pipe still wants to maintain the bridge. Right? So it's keeping those water levels the same. But it's, it's leaving through that white pipe and still trickling down here. And it will continue doing that until it's down to the level of the top of the white pipe and it will stop flowing then. So even though I'm sucking from down here in the main tank, I'm never going to get the level that low. It's always going to stay up here. The lowest it can go is to the top of the white pipe. That's as low as the water will ever go in the main tank. And we'll watch that for a bit longer. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it until it breaks or so, or until we get bored, whichever comes first. That trickle's coming really slowly now, almost stopping. So in the event of a power cut, see, the water levels stay pretty much the same. Nothing really happens. This is still basically full, just to the level of the blue pipe coming in. This tank is still full, to the level of the top of the white pipe. And this tank, you know, it's had a little bit more water trickle into it, but hardly a change at all. So you've got a great, you know, fail-safe system in the event of a power cut that circulates all this water. So you've got the, the fish nutrients coming down, feeding the plants, they can grow on that. And I've got a bunch of filter media in bags there, tons of bacteria to convert that ammonia. The plants clean up the water, make it nice, and then it's returned and filtered again, well, filtered again by a physical filtration system this time, before it goes back to the fish. So it's, it's amazing. The fish are getting great clean water. Okay, I think this has pretty much stopped now. Yeah, it's not flowing anymore. That's stopped. So that's all stopped. Oh couple, couple little drips, but I'll start it up again so you can see. This is the uh, pump going back on. So it started to come out here again. That will fill up. Overflow into there, overflow into there, overflow into here, and we'll start to see the water fall in a second. There it comes. I've got, I'm laying another little filter on there just to get inoculated. And that starts flowing back down into here. And nothing needs to be done to this. It doesn't need to be primed. There's no siphon break, nothing like that, because the water level 
acted as a lock, right? So in the blue tube, kept water in there. And I added this little valve because if I want to take the filter out and clean it, or if I want to do any maintenance on the system or anything like that, I can remove this piece, right? Just rest on that. But then it will get full of air, right? All the water will fall out. But with that tube, I can just open the little green valve, suck the air out until I see water come in the tube and then close the valve off again. So then it's completely full of water again. So now we've got the system working again, falling back in there, getting sucked back down through here. And coming back down here into the bottom tank. I just thought that was a pretty, uh, pretty unique system. And maybe some of you will get some ideas out of this or feel inspired or just think it's cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.